Hi, I'm Chelsea, the Christian nutritionist. I've got some muffins with me today instead of my coffee so I can share the reason that I don't count calories and I don't teach calorie counting. Now these are two different muffins, obviously. One is an egg muffin with a little cheese and bacon and broccoli. This is a gluten-free apple cinnamon muffin, okay? Now even though each of these has about 100 calories, one affects the body in one way and the other affects the body in another way. They behave totally differently in the body, even though they're the same amount of calories. If you eat this for breakfast, you're telling your body to be a sugar burner. If you eat this for breakfast, you're telling your body to be a fat burner. One aggressively sets off insulin, which is the hormone that tells your body to store carbohydrates, to store fat. And the other does not aggressively set off insulin and allows your body to burn fat. So all calories are not created equally. That's why two people can be eating the same amount of calories and one can be healthy and fit and the other can be sick and overweight. It's not so much the number of calories, but the quality of calories and how they behave in the body. Real food calories are always going to behave better in the body because that's the way God designed us to work. And if you think about it, Bible women didn't count calories or log macros or stress over their scale weight, right? I mean, and we don't have to either. If you wanna live a more intuitive eating lifestyle, focus on how food works in your body and count nutrients, not calories. And remember that our bodies will always behave much better on real food the way God made it. I hope you enjoyed this sermon on the couch. Have a healthy and blessed week.